Good evening and welcome to another paranormal podcast of hauntedorange.com. My name is Ernie Alonzo with my co-host Hector Medina. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? We have a special guest on our show tonight. We have AJ Barrera out. Uh, we're really excited to have you guys on our show. Um, I guess we'll start off with you, AJ. Um, we read in your bio that you started off in the field by using tarot cards. And um, how did that develop into you realizing that you had the talent? I, th I think a lot of it started out with a little bit of skepticism and attitude, not really understanding the whole process of psychics and mediums. So I saw certain mediums and psychics on television shows such as Sally Jesse Raphael, Jenny Jones, Maury, you name it. Mm -hmm. And so I figured they placed people in the audience and told them what to say and what to do. And I figured this, these people are probably BS, basically. <laughs> they can't tell them what to do, you know? Yeah. And so the more I started researching it and started going to the work of going through my local libraries, and I went to the New Age section. And the New Age section was about three books. That's all that was there, basically. And I started reading those books that were there, started going to libraries, and um, trying to figure out what the whole process was all about. So I came in contact with the tarot cards um, through, through another individual, through a, a friend's mother. And she said, here, she goes, I see you were fascinated with it. And what kind of mother would actually give their, some kids some tarot cards yeah. and tell them, hey, mess around with these, you know what I mean? So, you know, so it was kind of awkward for me to kind of take on that, that action. That, yeah, that, I just want to recognize for the pod listeners, we do have a live audience here. Uh, can we hear from the audience? Uh, thank you for joining us. Now, AJ, I heard that, I read in your bio that your teacher, Ellen, was one of your mentors. Tell us about her. Oh, gosh. I mean, she still continues to be my second mother, actually. Uh -huh. I mean, she taught me from my freshman year to my senior year. She was a high school teacher, an art teacher. Okay. Um, I went into uh, my school to actually take credits ahead of time to, so I can get out of high school early, so I can finish early yeah. before other students. So I was taking the art class and I started drawing stuff and, you know, started intuitively drawing. And so she said, um, you have the ability to connect with the other side. And it was like, no, I don't. She goes, yeah, you do. And I go, no, I don't. And so the more that she kind of started reading into it, she goes, read for me. Started working with energy. So the more I started reading for her and working with energy, she started teaching me about energy for those four years because I had no idea what, what this whole process was all about. Talk to us about some of the projects that you're working on currently. Because yeah. um, I know you're very popular. And, uh, <laughs> so just, yeah, I'll, I'll be doing a radio show about two weeks uh, every Monday, Monday through Friday, about 8 a.m., 6 and 8 a.m. I have a segment called Breakthrough with AJ Barrera here in Los Angeles on KXOL 96.3, and I'll be doing that. I'm also working on another TV project, which I shared with Rero, um, which is my own show, kind of cra traveling across the U.S., giving people readings and focusing on the soul discovery in a person's life and trying to get that, that breakthrough, that awakening, because we all have gone to psychics and mediums and, and look for that connection or look for that advice. But my, my whole goal again is giving conscious awareness to you, have people really understand what this whole process is all about. No one really talks about the process. They talk about making that connection. And if you really look into the process about the, the discovery of, of Christianity, Judaism, Buddhism, the whole nine yards, you start really to understand the, the whole concept of religion and spirituality. And then if you understand them both, they blend beautifully guidance. Yeah, now AJ, I read on your website um, in regards to uh, your services, um, you talked about meditation and protection. Absolutely. Walk us through your meditation process and also what is it that you protect yourself from or, or what, what, what is that? Talk, talk to us about that. Walk us through that. Be before any interview, TV show, reading, any, anything, I always ground myself through a simple meditation of about uh, opening up my chakras, which are seven energy points. I go from the base of the spine all the way to the crown chakra, open up those points. Once those are aligned, I kind of prepare myself with a white light, ground myself, and ask spirit, ask my guys to convey the messages, make sure I interpret them correctly, and make sure the information gets through to the right individual. Because with me, I, I don't want to be wishy-washy with my information. There are mediums out there saying, oh, you got a gentleman that passed away with a pain on chest. We all had someone that passed away with a pain on chest. Yeah. Yeah. Be specific. Is it dad? Is it mom? Is it brother? What, what is the information? So, now, I have a question about how all this affects your personal relationships. Yeah, man. So, <laughs> that, man. so I'm a little bit curious on how does, how does this affect uh, yeah. AJ's personal life? Uh, why specific why, why <laughs> that? Specifically in the, in the love area. <laughs> I'll talk about a past relationship. I, I don't call her babe, I don't call her honey, I actually call her the shepherd for the devil. Oh, wow. um, she was her pet name. Yes, that's her pet name. Um, really, really bad energy. Um, just just threw a wrench and wrench and everything in my, in my life and towards the end and I started realizing it was just about her. It was about her energy and you know she had some issues that she had to fix with and she wanted to do something else with her life and I didn't want to do that with her life and 
I think a lot of it is realizing when you connect with an individual, my current relationship now is um, unbelievable. It, it, it just happens, you know, and you find the right individual and you click with them, you connect with them, you understand right. them, they understand you, and there was some skepticism attitude in the beginning, saying, I don't believe you, but after, afterwards... With your partner? Yeah, exactly. With now, afterwards, now, yeah. it's like, okay, you know, he's amazing, he does this, he does the that. The stars are all <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> and sage for protection and self. Um, and that's one thing that AJ was just... He would, he would always be like, no, I do not need to be sage, you know? <laughs> and, and it was funny because I would always be like... Let me just see. Like you. I can see him coming. And, 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 you know, <laughs> and at first, just you know, just as just you know, a, a, on a friendly basis, just you know, give him a hard time. Let me say to you. And then I know his meditation process is you know protects him. You know the guy has you know like a bubble protection around him. You know, and <laughs> and I still you know do you need to say no? I don't. And he would go, he would go <laughs> to the side. And he would do his own you know meditation. Yeah. What are what what is one of the most unusual or the most you know. Memorable investigations that you that you've gone on where there's a lot of you know activity that has happened. Um, I would say out of all the locations that I've done, uh, Fairhaven Cemetery. Oh and, really? Yeah, yeah here in Orange County, and uh, and not only do I have a personal connection there because I have a grandfather that actually rests there, mm -hmm. but I've actually gone there and just you know without the use of AJ, you know, um, <laughs> try to give myself you know some some sort of you know like real-time answer there, you know, that I can actually hear, and I, I'll do ITC, and yeah, I know it's, it's kind of weird if someone's sitting there with the radio scanning, gah, 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 yeah. you know, and I, you know, I'm not the only one that's there visiting their loved ones, so I tend to be reserved, you know, I'll throw on headsets and I'll plug it into the, you know, the device, and I'll let it scan, and I'll start asking questions, spirits I want to communicate with. My Any buddy. particular area of the cemetery? I've heard about the mausoleum. Oh, I mean, I, I don't know if the kids there, I... What's funny is I have a whole map of the location, and I've spent numerous, I just can't remember how many hours I've actually spent there, and yeah. I've, you know, uh, this one thing they had to warn me about when I started doing the show, we cannot afford a trespassing citation, because they'll drop you like that, and um, I've actually been stopped by cops there before, and I'll, I'll even bring it to the different file, I have a, an old phone that has MP3 capability, and I actually show the cops, listen to this audio that I captured, you know, <laughs> <laughs> they're answering, they're answering, and the cops will listen, and they'll be like, okay, just go ahead and leave, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and leave, you know? But, uh, but that location, I mean, I know Santa, the Santa Ana Cemetery is right next to each, yeah, right next to it, and that one's right open, there. you know, it's a lot easier to get in there. Now, but is, I, that, is that one open? Well, um, yeah, I mean, it's a, you know, there's a certain location where it's open, not as much as... Now, we're not even. encouraging any of you to go in. No, <laughs> no, I mean, and why I would go in there, I would go in there while it's operating, what's open, and I do tend to just like, hide away from, you know, the gatekeeper that's closing up the gates, and that, like I said, I have a personal connection, my grandfather's there, and to go back to uh, finish my story, I've actually had the ability to actually sit there and, and ask to speak to my grandfather. And in word scanning, you hear a female say, just a moment. And I, I'm very impatient, so I'm like, oh, hello, are you there? And then they answer, just a moment. <coughs> and then I hear his voice. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, wow, it happened to me so many times that I figured to myself, I'm going to go back and start recording this. So I have documented evidence, and it's his voice. And I asked him, Grandpa, what would you call me? What's my last name? What's your middle name? Yeah. And everything's just, you know, relevant.